I had an opportunity to visit the China Square, the new one at the waterfront. And this is what I got. Hello and welcome back to another video on what will I need next. My name is Momoyo Karaoke and let's figure out what to knit together. Wow, as a knitter and a crocheter, all the yarn shops will give you what you're looking for. But there are some things that you just have to go out there, look for them in different shops, in shops that you least expect to find them, but you need them. Today's video is all about that. I had an opportunity to visit the China Square, the new one at the waterfront, and this is what I got. That's what I'm going to share with you. It's quite helpful for knitters and crocheters, and I just hope that this video helps you get yourself a little organized. <laughs> Or find that one thing that you've been looking for. Well, where do I start? Let me start with my favorite. This is my favorite. It's a little basket. And they do have them in so many sizes. But I chose this little one because my knitting's in the evening. I have the yarn rolling on the carpet. If I have to wake up and go do something else, I leave my project on the sofa. And as a knitter and crocheter, you know what happens when you leave your things on the sofa. The next person who is looking for a place to sit will love the place where your knitting work, your crocheting work is sitting on. That is like their favorite place. So they will come, either throw your work away, your stitches will fall off the needles or they'll sit on it. I mean, whatever happens, you all have the stories. You can share your stories with me in the comment section. But my experience with leaving my work on the sofa and knowing that where my yarn is sitting and my projects are sitting is the most ideal place for some people in my house made me go for this. So it does organize my work very well. I've also recently started using patterns. So I'm able to have my pattern here. I'm able to have when I am not working on something, I can put it here neatly without a problem. My yarn doesn't have to be rolling on the carpet on the floor. Yes. And whatever needles I am using, whether it's a crochet or whatever, they fit in here. The other reason that I chose this particular basket is because it does have holes. So in case I have my yarn rolled into a ball, then I can put the thread out here and I have the yarn rolling in here as I am knitting without it getting messy and untidy. For those of us who love to travel and never want to leave our knitting and crocheting behind, this little box here makes such a great way to pack your whips for that amazing road trip. The other reason, I haven't started using multiple um, yarns, like having two, maybe doing with two or different colors. But for people who do different colors at the same time, then you can have the strands of yarns running from here and have all your yarn organized in this basket. And it is such neat and easy way to do your knitting and crocheting without having the yarn rolling all over. So you will find them in plenty in different sizes. There is even smaller sizes than this one and bigger sizes where you can just organize your stash and fell in love with it. This particular size is Kenya shillings. Let me see. It's Kenya shillings, 380. It's worth it. So that's my first... Um, my first uh, purchase. The other item I bought. <laughs> Let me show you my scissors. <laughs> when I walked in at the China Square, the first area when you walk in and you turn to your left is the makeup area, some accessories, some small, small items. This is the first thing that I saw when I walked in, those scissors. 
they're so pretty now these are my scissors these are the ones that i use i went and bought a cbc kit knitting kit because i needed some I, I needed a tape measure i had lost mine i needed a needle in the office and yeah some scissors so i bought a whole kit and these are the scissors that come with it i do understand they're meant for school so not fancy but functional so when i saw this ones and I have seen them in so many other YouTubes. So many other knitters and crocheters go for fancy scissors like this ones. I decided, who am I to be left behind? I bought myself. And these scissors go for 420 Kenya shillings. But the cuteness is worth the money. That's my second purchase from China Square. My other purchase... My other purchase from China Square was blocking pins. <laughs> I was actually looking for the blocking mat, but I never got to find a blocking mat. But I found the blocking pins, and they are plenty in different colors. So if you need to block something that you have to color code your pins, perfecto. And there are also quite many, so they, you, you buy this kit and you are able to also block big items without a worry. There are quite many. Price for this blocking pins is 210 Kenya shillings. I totally think it's worth because I have looked for these long ones. I didn't find. I bought other types, the, the thumb press. They don't work well for me. They're short. And let's just agree. These ones are perfect. So that's the other item I bought from China Square. What else? I have recently started using um I have recently started using patterns. Um so far I just started the other day, I think. I got these ones printed out either over the weekend or on Monday, something like that. So it's just been a week, but I've been able to use two already. I've made the dishcloth and I've also used the beanie. And the reason why I bought this item number four is because, can you look at my patterns? <laughs> Oh my God, once I use them, they're so untidy because I place them anywhere. And then after that, I was thinking, well, even if I don't use them in a folder, I need to store them for future use. So this untidiness has to be organized. And that is the reason why I bought this folder. So this folder, which I haven't put the patterns, but I'm going to do that after this video. This, vo this folder comes with plastic pockets. It has 20 pockets of them and 20 means <clears throat> 20 means that I can actually put two patterns in one pocket so long as they are facing one side, one side, the back and the front. So it can take quite a bit of patterns, which is really nice. This folder goes for Kenya shillings, 350 Kenya shillings, and I think it's worth it given that you have 20 pockets and you can use, you can actually have 40 patterns here. I'm yet to have 40 patterns. So definitely something that will organize me and my journey using patterns. I plan to use quite a number of patterns. Last but not least, I said the first one was my favorite, but I love this one. I love this one. So first, read the message. Would like to share some of the positive life. This actually is a flower vase, but for me, this is going to be organizing my needles. I was looking at my needles the other day because I've had a challenge with needles. 
I don't have all the sizes and I keep choosing projects that don't have sizes that I don't have the needle sizes or I choose yarn that I don't have the needle sizes and then when I am going to look for the needles I don't find them so it's just been um, not exciting journey with the needles I am planning to get myself a full kit of needles and when I do I will share with you but for now I'll show you what I have and we are going to put it here together let me talk a bit about this particular circular needles that are the commonly found in the shops can you see the cable these needles I've only used them to make one sweater which is not finished and the dishcloth I made two pieces of the dishcloth the dishcloths are very tiny they grow very fast they, they, I make one in a day and that is just knitting in the evenings and morning as I'm having my cup of coffee but this is how they look so this cable I learned from another youtuber that cables be, that behave like this are said to have a memory meaning when you fold them they don't forget they were folded they stick to the shape of the folding you see so this cable has a memory and it is not the best because if it remembers the folds it will keep folding like this it, it the more it's folding the more uncomfortable it is when you're knitting with it and i'll show you a different cable that has no memory so the kind of cables that are recommended are this one these i have used for several projects okay maybe two or three also but you can see how neat this cable stays it doesn't fold regardless of the maneuvers you will do with your project this has a memory this has no memory this is recommended now i got these ones as gifts so i didn't buy them locally but you can find them locally i've seen them at institch and yeah be willing to pay a good price for this the brand is Takumi and their babu at the top. They are very good. I love them, but they cost an arm and a life. Okay, let's adjust an arm. You'll go home with a leg. So back to my flower vase. Let's is this let's do a stock take of my needles. these are all the needles that i have bought locally and i have different sizes so these are my recent purchases because of the dish cloth because i had to change from the circular needles these are size three millimeters there you go um i dropped something three millimeters then i have size five millimeters uh short you can see this let me show you so this is long five millimeters and this is short five millimeters so i use this for bigger garments like a sweater i haven't made a sweater i'm starting now that's why i have this and this work best for scarves because the scarves width is not so much so i don't need such a huge needle so i have the long one and the short one in size five let's let's see where is the other five five short go in i like the fact that if you lose this okay let, let me let me see if you lose the top you'll never know the size of your needle so always make sure you keep that top nicely and then here we have the five long go in i've been storing my needles in all their bags so I don't know if to keep with their bags. I think it is better to keep with their bags. So let's go back here. and Because when I'm taking them away, I need the bags. I don't pack them loosely like that. So this was five, I think. So 
so this is the other one this is four millimeter you see what i'm talking about so these things fall off very easily and then once they fall off you don't know the size of your needle anymore because on these needles they don't write the size on the needle itself they they write the size on the stitch stopper at the end so this is four so so far i have three four five and five i have short and long then i have size six millimeters i actually made scarves that required a size six and i loved the bounce the drip is it called the drip yes of a heavy because i made it with a loose tension so it was really bouncy and nice on the neck nicely I bought this. This is a Tunisian crochet. It's long like a knitting needle. Um, four millimeters. <laughs> I follow and subscribe to a channel by TL Yarn Crafts. Follow her. She has amazing tutorials on um, Tunisian crocheting. So I bought mine. I tried Tunisian crocheting. I decided what I can. It will wait it will wait so this is another four and i think i bought this by mistake or i bought this when i lost the stopper one of the two so there are my needles that are locally mm, purchased and then i have this one now all these other needles the takumis were gifted to me and the circulars were gifted to me and i have many i don't know when i'll get to use and size nine millimeters needles <laughs> let me show you how thick it is it is this thick and it is this short so i don't know when i will ever get to use it because especially because of that length i could do a blanket but i think a blanket i would need circular ones so I have no idea where to use those ones yet. Then I have size 5.5. And this I have actually two pairs of 5.5. Again, Takumi gifted to me. There we go. Then circular, I have 16 inches, which is good for beanies that are for young children. And this is also a size 6. In circular this is a size four millimeters this is a four now all my takumi needles are very short like that so I have only used them for scarves because the scarves are not too wide I have 4.25 and I have another four. I have four, 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 and 4.25. Honestly, these ones are mixed up. I can't tell how. But how they got mixed up, only God knows. Four. So, yes. And then... <clears throat> Circular. These are circular size five millimeters. They're the ones I've used to knit the recent beanie that I have done. They are the circular 24 inches, that is 61 centimeters. They did do a beanie for an adult very well, but they're slightly bigger. So by the time you're decreasing to get to the tip of the beanie, you have to change the needles or use the magic loop, which I have learned recently. So once you get to the tip, here are the double-sided needles that are good for using at the tip. And I have them in 4.5. They are all 4.5. They are five pieces. Normally, they come four pieces. So I was gifted this by someone who stopped knitting in the US. 
So I think when they were organizing what they need to do away with, they put everything. Very good for doing circular items, especially small circular items because they're double-sided. You can have three of them together and meet in the round. Then I have this one, also circular, size four and a half millimeters, 29 inches, quite big for maybe a huge, a big beanie. No, let me say, they will do beanies in, yeah, four and a half millimeters. They'll do beanies for adults because the gauge for this size of needle is much smaller than the gauge I used, so it will work. Hopefully, but I'm sure you have to use a magic um, loop somewhere or shift to double-sided. So this is what I wanted to do with this particular flower vase and I just love it. Those are the items that I bought myself from China Square Waterfront and there is much more that you can buy from there as a knitter if you're looking for storage. If you're looking for uh, other accessories they don't have the needles they don't have the yarn which is good because who wants our yarn suppliers to get out of business nobody nobody so i am happy they're not stocking these things i still want to walk into osona to walk into Institch, to walk to eshi and buy my yarn and needles but for storage go to china square Now, if you have enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe. <laughs> if you have enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe and click the bell right next to it, which is a notification for every time I put out a new video. My plan is to share as much as possible of my knitting and reviews, oh, lessons that I learned, Things that I find like this ones that will help you get your knitting and crocheting journey much easier and better, more fun and enjoyable. I'd like to hear your needle stories. Please tell me where you find your needles in all the sizes. Do you stock all the sizes? Tell me tricks and hacks you use to get to knit your projects when you don't have the right needles for the right yarn. But I have a request to all the stockists of yarns. This is my personal request to you. So whenever you get us this beautiful yarn that we truly, truly appreciate, the work you go out there to do to make sure you bring us quality, good, beautiful yarn in all sizes, in all weights, please also bring us accessories to work with that yarn i know one type of yarn can be used to make so many projects and it might be difficult to get all the needles and all the accessories required for all the projects but following our social media because you all follow us and we follow you you see the kind of knitting that we are doing here in kenya which is very different in other countries. So at least you have your top 10 knits and crochets that are commonly done here, styles and designs. I've had challenges uh, getting needles to finish a project. Case in point, the last sweater that is still a whip. It, is require, it requires a size 3.5 millimeter needle. And I can't find a size circular needle, 3.5, short cord for my sleeves. So that's my prayer to you guys. I hope you watch this video and you subscribe and you follow me. And let's figure out what to knit next together. That is knitting and crocheting. Let's figure out what to knit and crochet next together. Until the next video, it's bye from me.